Hi, I'm Tammy Enders, the Gestational Carrier Coordinator here at Carolina Conceptions. At Carolina Conceptions, we provide comprehensive care for those patients who require the use of a gestational carrier. We do provide gestational carriers at Carolina Conceptions, or if you choose, you can bring in a family member, friend, or a gestational carrier that you acquire through an agency. We work with patients here locally, across the state, across the United States, and internationally. There are requirements that need to be met for our gestational carriers, either here through, just, through Carolina Conceptions or someone that you bring into our center. Those requirements include a body mass index of less than 30, they need to be less than 38 years of age, no drugs, alcohol, or smoking, they need to be in good health, and they need to have at least one prior pregnancy with a full-term delivery. Once you've picked your gestational carrier, there is other requirements that need to be met. One of those is a psychological evaluation. That needs to be between both intended parents, the gestational carrier, and her partner if she has one. That needs to be done through a licensed mental health professional, and we can provide you of names of those people in the area if you need them. Once the psychological evaluation has been done and everyone is passed off, then there is some medical screening that needs to take place. The gestational carrier will need to have some screening done, including infectious diseases and some other medical screening. Her partner will also need to have infectious disease screening done if she has a partner. The intended parents will also have to have FDA blood work done along with a questionnaire and a physical form completed. Once the psychological and medic sc medical screening has been completed, there needs to be contact with a lawyer and a legal document needs to be drawn up. That contract can change from state to state, so we ask that you make sure that you see a lawyer in the state where the birth will take place. Once these steps of the process have been completed, then a treatment plan will be determined whether it will be a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer. This will require then that the intended parents and the gestational carrier attend a nursing class where a calendar for the treatment will be determined, medications will be ordered, and consents will be signed. Depending on what type of treatment plan, whether it be fresh or frozen transfer, the gestational carrier and possibly the intended mother will need to go through medical screening and monitoring. That can be done either here at Carolina Conceptions or we can set up remote monitoring at clinics closer to either the, gest the gestational carrier's home or the intended mother's home. We work with many remote clinics in order to provide convenience for both the intended parents and the gestational carrier while they are going through their treatment cycle. Medication treatments can vary, but most involve the gestational carrier taking hormonal treatments for approximately three weeks prior to the embryo transfer and then a pregnancy test will be approximately a week and a half after the embryo transfer. We are always actively recruiting at gestational carriers for here at Carolina Conceptions. If you know of anyone, family or friend, that would be interested in becoming a gestational carrier, please refer them to our website where we have an online application. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can always contact me either by my email address, tenders at carolinaconception.com, or by calling the main number, 919-782-5911, and I'm extension 107.